My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Check out this 69 Chevelle SS means super sexy in this circumstance. Look at that red paint. It is slick. Body off the frame restored. It's got a couple thousand miles on it since it's been done. Uh, top to bottom, it's a nice clean car. You got big block, you got four speed, frame off restored. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study over a hundred pictures. And that's where you find the price tags on over 200 collector cars at volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon. That way you'll be notified as new ones are posted. But for right now, join me and let's go for a spin. Yeah, this thing's been off the frame restored, so the body's been separated from the chassis. The whole chassis was redone. The front end's all rebuilt. Ball joints, bushings, springs, shocks, tie rods, inners and outers, all rebuilt. Uh, in back, it has an upgraded uh, control arm system from UMI Performance. So it's a box lower control arm and custom upper ones. Uh, new sway bar, new springs, new shocks, new bushings. So all the suspension and steering is redone. Brakes were completely redone. They're drum and back, disc in front. Everything up front looks new. The calipers, the backing plates, the hoses, the brake lines are new. Uh, the emergency brake cable assembly all looks new. It has a new stainless steel exhaust all the way back. The pipes are stainless steel. The mufflers are not. They're aluminized. It has the chrome cowbell SS tips in the back. The fuel system is all replaced, so it has a nice new clean tank, straps with the insulators, sending unit, fuel line, all replaced. Uh, you look up at the floors, all metal, all clean metal floors, the braces, all of it smooth, clean metal, painted a, a semi-gloss satin black. You look up at the motor, it's spotless Chevy orange, has a high torque starter. And here's a nice little treat for you. It's the M22 Rock Crusher 4 Speed. Go back and watch all my videos. I don't remember the last time I had an M22 four speed. Uh, that's the heavy duty, uh, more desirable, more valuable uh, of the Muncie transmissions. This car's got one. Uh, all new clutch uh, assembly. Drive shaft is clean. The U joints look new. It does have a 12 volt rear end with a chrome cover. Honestly, I don't know what gears are in there. I haven't driven it yet, but it is a 12 volt. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, underneath the car, excellent shape. Everything's redone. Painted a really slick red, no vinyl top. It has the stripes down the side, so it, it's a sharp looker. Full GM quarter panels and fenders. So all four corners are all new, GM metal, no rust. They did an excellent job. Uh, you know, installing them, the car is laser beam straight across the trunk, the roof, the hood. It's straight everywhere, and it's all smooth. There are no bubbles or issues that I could find. I look for them, and I feel for them, uh, but there's nothing down here. Actually, this is all slick, polished. Uh, so no issues with the body. Again, bright red, glossy paint. It's not a perfect paint job, it's really nice. Like as you get close to the rain gutter, there's a little bit of orange peel texture where they just didn't sand and buff it maybe as good as they could have. You'll find a little piece of dust or, I mean, minor imperfections, but I need to mention them. Uh, the panels fit nice, the hood is nice and square. There was a flaw on the trunk. I didn't want to call it a nick, it's a little, gash or something now we can't even find it yeah right here just a little tiny scratch looks like a fingernail laying on the paint there door jams are painted slick the bumpers are re-chromed the door handles the mirror the emblems are replaced 
The 14 inch SS wheels are all repainted. New lug nuts, new caps, new shiny trim rings, new BF Goodrich tires. The glass looks like it's original. It has just enough patina on it. It's not new, but they're fine. New window seals, all new weather strips. Uh, back here, it's got the uh, SS blacked out tail panel and all the trim emblems, tail lights, all that's been replaced. So now let's go inside the car. We've got a very nice interior. The carpet and sill plates have been replaced. Uh, bucket seats have new cushions, new upholstery, the headrest, the chrome trim, the plastic seat backs and trim, all that's been replaced. The back seats reupholstered as well. In between the bucket seats is a factory center console in really nice shape. It's got a Hurst uh, four speed. The instrument panel is not cut, not broken. A uh, heater control panel is original. It's in good shape. Original AM radio. And then down below, we have a set of sport comp uh, gauges. Uh, the dash pad has been reupholstered. Uh, it does have a tilt column with a new deluxe three spoke wheel. Overhead, the visors and headliner uh, have been replaced. There is one small tear. I couldn't even, I could probably forced my pinky into it. That's the size of the hole. Um, it does have seat belts front and back. I don't see the shoulder belts, they must be missing. So it has a very nice interior. Now, how about we look at the engine compartment? So it was completely rebuilt. It's bored 30 over. It's a 408 cubic inch big block now. Uh, it's got new pistons, of course, uh, new cam. It has the big square port heads with a high rise aluminum Edelbrock, dual feed Holly carburetor a flamethrower HEI ignition system, and it has a set of headers. It's dressed up with the original style chrome valve covers with new caps and air cleaner. The alternator and fuel pump look new. It features power steering, power brakes, and all the power brake assembly looks new as a cadmium plated booster. Upgraded aluminum radiator, new clutch fan, new shroud, new reproduction GM hose. And overall, the motor compartment's very nice. All the metal surfaces are smooth and painted black. Everything's very tidy and clean. This is not a $100,000 trailer queen car, but it's very nice. Has the horns, looks like the washer bottle's hooked up. So a nice clean motor compartment. GM's painted nice. Now let's take a look in the trunk. It's all clean metal inside the trunk. I don't see any patches or anything fishy at all. Just all clean metal, very neatly spatter painted. The bottom of the trunk lid and the jam are painted gloss red like the outside of the car. The weather strip is replaced. I don't have a jack. It's got a rally wheel with a used tire for a spare. So there you have it. Go to volocars.com. I just gave you my impression of this gorgeous 69 Chevelle. Plenty of ways on there to reach out to the salesman uh, to ask any specific uh, questions. They can help you get this delivered to your driveway and they can help you get it financed. That's all at volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.